listening to AM 1080 KSEO Santa Cruz. Thank you very much, Billy. There you go, dude. There you go. Hey, now, what's happening? Oh, We're man, live I got to go get my glasses out of the card. Look at that. Look at how cool that looks. You, uh, we, you know, we got the live stream going on the YouTube, yeah, and I think man. finally, for the first time, it's streaming. We set it up, and it's correctly streaming out, and the audio is even working. Now, right. granted, we don't have more than one uh, camera yet, but, you know, baby steps and everything. So go to everyone listening, uh, Flight 1080 channel right. on YouTube. Check us out. Live Check me streaming. Out. That, that looks cool with these glasses. These glasses are cool, Billy. Those are cool. I got those, I think, maybe wow. at the uh, dollar store. No, I think. No, I, really? I, I think maybe. They're like big dogs, I think they call them. Oh, they're, they're really cool. I like this. I look I like, like a movie star. You look cool, dude. Yeah, man. Hey, speaking of movies, Dave, uh, I heard today they're going to be shooting a Universal uh, Studios film in Santa Cruz County, and they're looking for extras. Today? Today they uh, did a little well, press release. Well, it's probably already over then. No, no, no. They did a press release, Dave. And for those interested that would like to uh, participate, uh, Jordan Peele, the great Jordan Peele from uh, the Key and Peele comedy team is going to be, um, I think you may have uh, wrote this piece. I am pretty sure he's in it. Uh, the working title is Us. It's going to be shooting in mid-September. And uh, they're looking for extras, uh, people that are uh, women and, and ladies and men and all that, nine years and older. Men, women, all ages, all you have to do to participate, uh, to be selected as an extra to work on the right. film is send a f recent photo, contact info, uh, such as your, your clothing and your shoe size, because they have to wardrobe people, Dave. Shut and, up. Uh, what, is, what is this? What am I, aud auditioning for Cinderella? No, no, no. Like, uh, like if you're a man, for example, so they the want to know pits? what coat size you wear, like if you wear a 34 regular or... A lot of men don't really? know these things. Yeah, and like shoe size, of course, because they need pants, and if you have to wear a suit, all that stuff. Anyways, if you know that stuff, send it, include it in the wait email. A minute, wait. And uh, emails go to deepcutsmovie at gmail.com. If you're interested in this uh, Universal Pictures film coming up, uh, Jordan Peele is involved in it. He just uh, won Who is uh, that last guy? year uh, Oscar for a screenwriting. Did you know that, Dave? Very talented guy. I think no, he's very I've funny. Never, never very, heard very of funny. Him. Key and Peele, the comedy team. Uh, is and this you two work too names much. or you one never name? see uh, TV, Dave. Yeah, I do. But who did you say? What's her Key, name? Key Peel is the name of the show, but his name is uh, Jordan Peel. Okay. Yeah, so those interested, uh, check that out. Big uh, Hollywood film. going to be shooting here in Santa Cruz County mid-September. Universal Studios, uh, one of my favorite. Uh, so I have to travel companies. to Universal Studios to try no, out. No, it will be shooting in town, Dave. Okay. Somewhere around Santa Cruz County. And what is this movie about? Uh, they did not say in the press release. I, I, they did not mention it. What is my inspiration for this role then, Billy? Your inspiration is uh, to stand around for eight hours and uh, drink uh, cheap an, coffee. Is that what an extra stand, does? Pretty much, yeah. Really? Yeah, go stand over here, walk here, do that, do this. You're like cattle. That's pretty cool, though. It's but you get paid, though, right? You do get paid. They will be paying people, and they're looking for non-union extras. So union people, you're out of luck, but union people are You know, uh, um, my yeah. mom and stepdad were in a movie filmed in downtown Watsonville. First of all, do you know how many movies have been filmed in Watsonville? There's been a, um, a few, actually. Uh, there's been a, a few of them filmed. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Yes, have you course. seen that one? Uh, it's been a while, but I really oh. liked it. I do okay, like good, it. I like that movie. I own it. And you then, you know what? It. There was uh, that, that Brothers, um, whatever it was called. Was it Brotherhood uh, of Justice? Yeah, Brotherhood of Justice, yes. Keanu. That, that movie is... That's got um, a lot of cool downtown shots. It's, it is. It's actually a really movie. cool movie. I, I wanted to make fun of it, but it's actually a cool movie. Yeah, Brotherhood of Justice. A lot of Aptos High there. Killer shots. Clowns from Outer Space, and there was a movie there filmed with... Oh, um, Burt Reynolds and Lonnie Anderson filmed a movie down there, too. It was a, a, a made-for-TV movie. And, um, oh, boy, uh, Mike Norris, Chuck Norris's son, uh, filmed a movie out there, too. I don't know if there's any Mike big names. Norris, really? Yeah. I didn't know he had a son. Yeah, nobody does. Well, not, even, not even Chuck, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Is anybody uh, checking us out on the live stream, Dave? How Flight the hell 1080. I know? Well, uh, we we monitor these things. Hopefully. Oh, we have four people. Four watching watchers. Now. now, the four of you watching right now you in get the to YouTube see channel. This, uh, Flight 1080. It's very important that you hit that like button and the subscribe button because you will get notifications and when Dave Michaels goes live. And you want to see Billy. Uh, get sick on the air when I get my revenge on him with our tastier hey, tainted trivia Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's going on challenge? around here? You got a challenge coming up oh, for yeah, me, yeah, Dave? Oh, yeah, I do. Now, you would mentioned this As before. As a matter um, of fact, I have a, mm. um, a trivia challenge. We're going to have some Japanese-based trivia questions for you, Billy, and we uh -huh. will have fun with that as well as some stories from our friends over on that part of the globe. All right, all yeah. right. Well, hey, uh, Dave, I got sitting right here my uh, hot little hands. We got a uh, letter 
Flight 1080 letter. Oh, is it a mystery ding, box? Ding, ding, ding. Or a letter? No, no, it's just a letter. Why am and, I? Uh, we, why do I we, play dumb like that? They could see what we're doing, right? <laughs> right. There's a letter There's right. There's no well, mystery the four box people already. that are okay. at the YouTube channel, check it out. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, don't, don't show them the address. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, it's way far away. I'll close it here. I'm, there you go. Uh, yeah. This is from a listener. So, I happen to know this person. Where uh, did they bit. send it? They sent it from Aptos. It's from Natalie. No, no. Where did Natalie they send it? What's the address here? Oh, they sent it to uh, KSCO Radio, 2300 Portola Drive, Santa Cruz, California, 95062, Dave. Right. And it is addressed to both of us, Attention Billy Army and Dave Michaels. Dave, okay. we're going to open it. Okay, you we're open, gonna open it. it. All right. Because I already... Here we go. We've here already we go. been through that here We're not going to be nervous, right? This is going to be like a... Uh, but what if it's a personal thing? Like wait, 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 wait. To... Don't you think you should um, hold on a little bit longer so that people can have uh, time to log on? Uh, that's right. They should. Right? Log. We should do this after the break, actually. I'm going to save it. For after the break. Yeah, we're going to open this later. Because you want them to do... It's more of a special uh, <laughs> special uh, thing for the more people to go log into the live stream on YouTube. And we'll open it. It's a beautiful blue envelope. Yeah, Billy Graff brought up a, yeah. a, a fact a factoid. I didn't miss what Billy... He, he popped his head in here and said something. Yeah, yeah last time we... Well, not the last time, but we got a letter like that once that uh -huh. had a mysterious white powder in it. And that turned out to be a, a pain in the butt here. At the oh, boy. That was back uh, years ago. But you already opened it uh, halfway, so... Man. No, this is kind of a, this is actually a person I sort of know, and I don't think anything nefarious is going on there, Dave. So that's going to be fun. Uh, 479-1080-831 is the area code, 218-5726. Billy? Now, Dave, yes. I mentioned to you earlier about the uh, movie coming to town they're going to be shooting. Now, another great film, I just recently learned about this, and it looks very good. As uh, I told you how I'm a big uh, Laurel and Hardy fan, as you know. Yes, of course. And they are making a Laurel and Hardy movie. I cannot believe it. They're, not, they're making a Laurel and Hardy movie. Now, it's not... It does, now, look, look, look. Now, you might think initial reaction, oh, it's going to be awful like those... Uh, oh, no, that's not what I like was thinking. Like the Three Stooges remake they did and all that. No, no, no. This is based on their uh, time when they went to Europe uh, in the 50s. It was sort of a comeback for them. And uh, interestingly enough, Steve uh, Kogan is playing Stan, and the great comedic actor John C. Riley is playing Oliver Hardy. I saw pictures of him in full makeup. He looks exactly like him. It's mind blowing. Really? You know John C. Riley, Dave? No. You seen the film Step Brothers? No. Um, hmm. I think our audience probably knows him. I, I'm uh, just going to call him in up. and uh, uh, let's be John C. Riley. He's a very, very funny oh, man. Yeah, yeah. And he also does serious stuff very well too. And I've honestly, seen him this, in, this in film with Will looks Ferrell. like it's going to be fantastic. This comedy that they're doing, and it's based off their time there when they went to uh, the UK and Ireland in 1953, and it was a bit of their considered their comeback. And the story, from what I can tell, uh, there's not much about it. They released a preview movie poster for it. They've been working on it for some time. It comes out next year, and uh, it looks uh, like it's really about their relationship. And uh, more of a serious piece. It looks really, really fascinating. And John C. Riley, if you get a chance, um, look up the movie poster for it. You know, it's called Stan and Ollie. And look up maybe some uh, one or two photos I think were released. He's in full makeup as Oliver Hardy, and he looks exactly really? like Oliver. It's stunning. Oliver Hardy, huh? Looks exactly like him. It's amazing. The other actor that's uh, I'm not familiar with, Steve Kogan. I'm not familiar with his work. Um, and he looks a bit like uh, Stan, but it's really about the acting. But boy, I'll tell you the. Um, the uh, Kenny resemblance here. Dave's pulling up a photograph. There it is there, Dave, on the left, that top one. That's him in uh, full makeup as Oliver Hardy. Wow. Yeah, yeah, pretty incredible, huh? So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. That's going to be way, way cool. And, of course, uh, you know, all the summer blockbusters are wrapping up, and we are basically our topic uh, today, Dave, is the end of summer. Summertime is ending. The kids are back to school, and... How'd that go with you, Dave? Did you have to get the back school supplies and all that? And, um, actually... Uh, no, Mariah's mom took her shopping for her school supplies, and uh -huh. Mikey has graduated, and so I do not have to worry about that stuff anymore. Uh, Thank God. Smooth I, I cannot sailing, believe it, dude. Huh? I cannot believe that day has come. So now this is a, the third day in a row I've taken Mikey driving, and we go out driving out there near the uh, the fields in uh, Watsonville. You know, there's very cleared out roads there. And this is the third day in a row, and now the deal is that you get your driver's license and you get a job. And that's what you told them? Oh, yeah, that, that's the way it's going, right? I mean, summer's what'd over. What do you say? Congrat you, say? <laughs> you know, what, what, do you expect <laughs> kid, what do you expect him to say, right? <laughs> uh, but he's okay. excited about, about learning to drive. He's, he's getting cool. the hang of it. This is the third day in a row. I did survive. Um, now yeah, is he learning on a manual transmission? Automatic. 
I, I'm going to teach yeah. them on, on a manual later, but I think that might be a little too much. It's probably easier just to pass the test with a with an automatic. It is. Know, it is. Uh, yeah. um, but it, it, it's better to, to teach them on a manual right. because it's good for them to know how to drive all vehicles. Yes, that is true. Uh, I did not learn on a manual transmission, and then years later, I, I did learn. My buddy taught me, and he had a little geo tracker, one of those little geo metro I tracker love those things. things, dude. Yeah, oh, yeah, those, yeah. That's the best car and I've ever boy, had. And boy, uh, I should say, there was a lot of uh, grinding and gear grinding when I when you first taught me how to do it. Oh, but it was you? Fun. Well, because I, I, I didn't learn on a, a manual that's horrible, transmission dude. originally, Dave. You so. tore up your friend's car I mean, learning I'm, how to drive. Uh, just a little yeah. bit. Uh, 479 Billy, one of the things we like to do here is yes. bring locals local news. That's stuff right. That, stuff, you know, hard-hitting news. Correct. Stuff that hits you like a train. Correct. Like that guy that got hit yesterday. Correct. What? What? Who? Yeah, Somebody got near, hit? Near Harvey West Park. Some guy did get hit. Oh. Phil, Phil is the one that had this hot in here now. This, you know, uh. these sweatshirts are nice, but they keep you a little too warm. Phil that is the uh, beautiful KSEO Flight 1080 uh, sweatshirts. Those are available for purchase. Dave is now showing it off quite nicely on the live stream, YouTube um, live stream. You know, Phil DeSeth was on, on the ball. He had the scoop on that story yesterday about the, uh, the man that was hit by a train. I believe you posted that on the Flight 1080. So I, uh, I have the story here. Look. All right. Uh, a 48-year-old Santa Cruz man moaned on Coral Street at the he railroad. Moaned. He was moaning after... <laughs> After he I'm was sorry. hit and rolled over by a Santa Cruz Big Trees and Pacific Railway passenger train on Thursday afternoon. That's one of those trees, I think, that goes through uh, one of the trains that goes to Roaring Camp. Correct, I correct. Uh, Ashanti Craft was hit by the train's engine around 245 near Harvey West Park. His friend described uh, the scene as he watched uh, what happened. He says, I hollered, train, what are you doing on the tracks? Mm hmm Well, he was leaning over the tracks. He turned around to straighten up. He was out there dancing. He was out there dancing in the, in the middle of the tra train tracks, uh -huh. didn't hear the train coming, and got run over by the train. I don't, but wait, he didn't get run over, though, did he? Well, he says was, in the he article was, he was hit by the engine. He at was the hit front. by the engine. He was rolling under there like he was a tumbler. They pulled him out from under there. Everybody was yelling at the engineer to stop. Santa Cruz police at the scene declined to comment while the man was being huh. placed in an ambulance. So huh. um, what the hell was he doing out there on the railroad tracks? Yeah. I suspect that he was probably... At, I shouldn't assume anything. Dave, do you think he was hopped up on something? I the would, kids these days. He wasn't even I, a kid. He was assume, an older man. I shouldn't assume anything, Billy. Well, I I'll do anything. it. I think he was probably Four, hopped seven, up nine, on You want to open up that letter now? You want to open up that letter? I would like to open Or should we wait until after the other? Well, I want to wait till the break a little bit. but Okay. Um, four seven nine ten eighty, And I got some trivia for you, too, Billy. And I'm going to get my revenge. Oh, uh, uh, Dave, the smile on Dave's so, so face the right deal, now. So the deal great. is, the deal is that you have to reach into the bag and and grab whatever it is that you touch first because I didn't. Oh boy. So you, I'm, I'm okay. It's kind of scouts honor, okay? Right, I don't okay. want you feeling around for the the thing that feels the one that's okay. tasty, right? Not the tainted one. Like the tentacles, I go ah, I don't uh, want that. Th this is this is going to be uh, some some fun stuff. Okay, that's okay. very cool. That's very uh, four cool. seven nine one zero eight zero. Billy, let's open up the letter on the other side of the break. Right, We're going to break that. for. And before we go to the break, though, I want to say it's uh, De Niro's birthday. Happy birthday! Uh, Happy birthday to Robert De Niro. Uh, it's his birthday. He's a fellow Leo like I am. My birthday's on Monday, Dave. I'm August twentieth. You're saying happy birthday um, to that guy after what he said about the president of the United States. Well, look, he may have said some things. Everybody's entitled to their opinions and whatnot. And like, honestly, I don't think people should necessarily do things like he did, but. It's the way he feels, and as an artist, I gotta say, I think he's uh, one of our. Uh, I think he's a great actor, and I just I like the guy. Okay, Dave, I just I like him, and I know, but hey, everybody says something sometime, right? Four seven nine one zero eight zero two one eight five seven two six. Let's head out to news. Phil D. Seth is standing by in the newsroom. He's got your headlines. Headlines are being brought to you by the Santa Cruz Sentinel. Three fantastic deals for our listeners, 831-706-3261. That's 706-3261. Get the Santa Cruz Sentinel delivered to your house. Get informed first thing in the morning. 4.30 is the time. Headlines are coming up next. Phil Seth is standing by, so I'll get out of his way. Phil, do your thing. Thanks, Dave, and good afternoon, everyone. Watsonville Police will be conducting a DUI driver's license checkpoint this evening within the city limits. It'll start at 6 p.m. and end at 3 a.m. tomorrow morning. Officers will specifically be looking for drivers under the influence of marijuana or prescription drugs. 
and Valley Churches United Mission in the San Lorenzo Valley is seeking donations to help local kids in our community start back to school with a new backpack with all the supplies needed. You can sponsor a student in need by making a $40 donation to the program now in its 28th year. Donations can be made online at vcum.org. For more information, call 831-336-8258. And the Simpkins Family Swim Center is holding its fourth annual Parks and Recs pool party next week. The end of the summer event takes place next Friday. The whole family, including the dog, are invited to join in the fun from noon until 4 p.m. at the Simpkins Family Swim Center on 17th Avenue in the Live Oak area of Santa Cruz. For information or tickets, visit scparks.com. It's 4.31. Time to get back to Flight 1080. I'm Phil D. Seth for KSEO Radio. Thank you, Phil. KSEO Drive Time is now 4.31. Let's see what's happening out there on your roadways and see what's up with weather. Highway 17, slow moving as usual from the 85 connector down to uh, about the reservoir. Traffic in Santa Cruz, southbound one, slow moving all the way into Aptos. Monterey into Seaside, stop and go for the most part. Moss Landing, both directions well under 10 miles per hour. Southbound 101 through Coyote Valley, stop and go until you make it into or closer to um, mm -hmm, Cochrane Road, it looks like. Also some road work going on, which appears to be what's slowing you down. Southbound 101, south of 10th Street near Gilroy. 10 miles per hour. Flight 1080, uh, KSEO, your weather forecast for tonight. Partly cloudy conditions, lows around 55 degrees. Tomorrow should be sunny by noon. Highs will be around 72 degrees. Hi, it's Charlie from the Garden Company, your locally owned garden center. Summer is a season to relax and entertain outdoors. And we All right, Billy, so uh, where is that envelope Jody. from? What, where is that envelope? What year is that from? Does it say the is Save it time this mark? envelope. Uh, because this envelope I've been getting here. some um, postcards which are eerily uh, old school, and they're on a, they're typed out on a typewriter. I don't even know who owns a typewriter anymore. These things. Really? Yes. I mean, they're very, very cool. I suspect that it's maybe Do a, they a, send them here to the show to you? Yes, dude. They send them to the show. Well, we've got a letter here. I, this I, is from someone I, I, I know a little bit, What Natalie. does the timestamp say? The timestamp on it is from... August 15th, 1918. So that was, um, what? Wait, 1918? No. See, I tricked you. Oh. 2018. Okay, so ah, it was sent uh, earlier this week. Okay, yeah, they yeah. sent it to 2300 Portola Drive, and what correct. is inside this envelope, Billy? We are about to find out now, Dave, as we open it up. And oh, we, you know what? Uh, and speaking of Billy, of I just sent yeah. a shout-out to somebody. Check us out on YouTube. Like us and we subscribe because... I just posted something up there. Uh, speaking That's of that, too, good, I'm going to type up there a big message. It's a hard big, to get this open. I some big news coming up about that. About that it's guy. a picture of a, uh, a uh, pig, David. What? It's oh, a card. Oh, that's cute. That a is little super piggy, cute. And he's looking over a little fence there. Wow. It's, uh, it's uh, quite long. It's elongated. And I'm not allowed to read this on the radio, Dave. This is for me only. It's a birthday card. Can you believe it? I got sent a cool birthday card from Natalie. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm not going to read it on the air. I will read it. It says, happy birthday to start out. And I thank you for that. And I'm not going to read that on the air. That's personal, Dave. And I appreciate that very much. Thank you for the birthday wishes. And uh, and uh, there's $200 in here that I'm going to What? Hide. Are you serious? <laughs> no, no I was writing some news no, about... No, no, Dave's, uh, uh, Dave's distracted by the live, live stream. Thank you, Natalie. I really appreciate that. Um, Billy, that guy's going to be podcasting? Birthday card. Who? What? That guy's going to be podcasting. Who is? The guy that you you wrote that where's that where's that letter where's that thing that you wrote? Oh yeah, here this here. Oh yeah, yeah I put a little note between see. the break uh, because between the breaks people can uh, see us. Right. So this YouTube guy right stream. here. Uh huh. This guy right here. This guy is going to start. Dave is showing podcasting. On the live stream. Is going to start podcasting. Yeah, he's going to start podcasting. We don't have to mention anyone. It's going to be coming up soon. Cool. Well, I don't. I don't want to spoil the surprise. No, it's, there's it's, no reason to spoil the surprise. No, there's no reason. I don't to think say. you can. I don't think you can read the writing. But uh, I, I, I did write it on our YouTube channel, so if that you want to so go there. That's so awesome, dude. Dave, I got a it. birthday card. Isn't that cool? Did you really? Yeah, the piggy birthday card. I mean, can I see it? No, it's to me. It's a message to me. Uh -huh. Personally. Well, I didn't I didn't read. Let me see if I can. Hold on. You start talking about something. I'll see if I can read it on Okay. The um, oh, there, there's a, a letter here in the Santa Cruz Sentinel. 
which I thought, um, well, you know, I think this is a serious problem downtown. I think there's a serious problem downtown, Billy, with the availability of public facilities. And I'm talking about public restrooms. There's a lack of them downtown, and uh, people are getting fed up with it. Downtown Santa Cruz has a problem with uh, places to, you know. All right. To, to uh, I read it. It was beautiful. Refresh car. yourself. Beautiful car, Dave. I read was it. Was it really? Yeah, it was. It was, a very, it was. I can't read it on the air, but I appreciate it. It was touching. Nice. Okay. And I liked your um, article that you're reading too, Dave. Okay, I haven't read it yet, Billy. I'm sorry, I was distracted. Uh, toilet story gets <laughs> no sympathy from the council. I can't tell you how disappointed I was when watching the city council meeting on August 14th and heard a woman describe being turned down at the city's Loudon Nelson Center and the uh, police department community room as she was in desperate need of using a toilet. She finally gave up and was forced to try to drive home, but it was too late. She had to describe the incident to the city council. What really hurt was that there was no expression of sympathy, no acknowledgement that there is a problem, no reaction at any... At at all of any kind on the part of the city council hmm. to this woman's terrible experience. She even had to admonish the council to look at her as she was relating this real-life horror story. They wouldn't even look at her, Billy, as she was explaining what happened because there was a lack of available restrooms. Why is the city not acknowledging this horrendous situation and acknowledging the need to come up with some temporary relief till a real solution is developed? Now, it's not just, you know, if you're a small business owner, I, I get why you don't want to offer public toilets because... You know, if you go to that bookstore in Santa Cruz, yeah. it's just, it's, yeah, not, it's not nice. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a not. very unpleasant place, right? Uh -huh. So I get why they do that. But at the same time, there needs to be some place for the public to go. Right. It's literally very, to go. Yeah, literally to go. And I mean, I, that's always been the problem, I think, in downtown Santa Cruz is uh, you just got a lot of people that, uh, con it's a strange little place. Downtown Santa Cruz is kind of very isolated. It's very tiny. And we do get a lot of, uh, you know, homeless people and, and other people and just a lot of traffic in general. Mm -hmm. And the uh, available places, even for the, the public that is uh, there to use things that are in the proper regard, it's find a hard, uh, hard to find a restroom down there because it's so limited. And... Once again, I uh, put it at the feet of uh, the Santa Cruz City Council not doing their job, Dave. 479-1080-218-5726. Did you hear this Ooh. one, Dave? You like Top Ramen? Yes. Now, here's a little bit of uh, news for you. This is a few days ago out of Georgia. Uh, Georgia police have been uh, probing the theft of $98,000 worth of ramen noodles that were stolen. Uh, from the truck. It was parked there in a Chevron for a few days. And the owner of it says that from July 25th to August 1st, somewhere about in that time, the truck was stolen with all this top ramen. He's got some uh, missing top ramen there, Dave. $98,000. Yeah, That's a lot of ramen. Do they have any suspects? None. Not a one. I have one. Who? Well, I, I know who it was. Uh, I suspect that it was an inmate somewhere. Really? Because yeah, and you know, and in, in, in those facilities, top ramen is worth a lot of money. Yeah, it's considered like money, commissary. Right, yeah, it's, they it's, can it's, trade. Right, it's like money. Um, you'd be a other rich than man that, with ninety thousand worth of top ramen, you'd be living like a fat hog. <laughs> other than that, I don't know what the hell you would do with that much. Huh? I mean, I, how, how I was. I, how my, what my initial thinking was, I thought maybe Corey Feldman was touring in Georgia. He was in town, and he he stole that to. You how know, cheap would you have to sell it. that in order to make some money? I mean, you. They already sell for a dime, I don't know, so you would have to sell them for crazy like cheap. a penny a piece. Right, and how, and how big was this truck? I mean, $98,000 worth of ramen is a lot of ramen. Like, you know, like, because they're real cheap, like you're saying. The truck must have been, like, was it a, a huge, uh, one of those cargo? I don't know. It's weird. Uh, Nick they is probably calling. just wanted to steal the truck, though. The ramen was just in there. Nick calling Maybe. from Felton. You're in the air. Hey, Nick. Hey, hey, hey how's it going? Good, how you doing? I was just thinking the, I'm good. I was just thinking the same thing. Like, ramen six for a buck. So that must be uh, like a quarter million packages of ramen. Holy cow. Yeah, the truck must but have been anyway, enormous. I know. <laughs> Double-decker. Um, hey, I was calling about our, uh, all, our almost Darwin Award recipient there, our local hero um, who's pulling off the dance act in front of the train. Pretty yeah. creative, huh? That guy, man, yeah. Uh, yesterday, a man was hit by a train, and he uh, turns out Here. that he was dancing on the train tracks. Didn't hear the train approaching until his friend screamed at him, and then. Hey, uh, Dave. 
He was rolled Here's over. the thing about that train and, all, and also the caller here is like, doesn't that train move really, 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 really slow, like five and miles it, an hour makes, through felt yeah, like? Yeah, and it makes a very loud, yeah. annoying horn, too. I mean, uh, you, you would have to be pretty spun to, to miss that. The, the, the crazy thing is now I'm sure he's at Dominican and guess who's probably going to get stuck with his. Uh, his bill, the, the taxpayer, isn't that lovely? Well, that definitely will be the case, and also will probably be the case is he's looking probably to sue them now. I wouldn't oh, doubt man. it. I, but, hey, but, uh, I uh, saw uh, the uh, photograph uh, that Dave posted of him, and uh, you can't see his face, but with the the reason the police are probably talking about it is because uh, he's probably known. I, I think you're absolutely right, though, Steve. I mean, I've been living in Santa Cruz since the late 90s. I do love it here, but my gosh, some things definitely need to change. We can't just keep on recycling the same city council candidates Again. and uh, putting them back up for uh, back in office. I mean, is, I, I'm not satisfied with the way things are going, and I don't think most people are, yet the same people keep getting mm -hmm. elected mm -hmm. over and over. It's yep. very, very frustrating and it's, challenging. It's frustrating. It's disheartening. Thank you for your call, Nick. 479-1080. Now, if, if you had read the, uh, I don't know if it was in yesterday's Sentinel or the day before, the Santa Cruz City Council has decided to uh, launch a committee to to research whether or not it would be a good idea to directly uh, vote for mayor to allow the citizens to vote for oh, mayor right? as, as well as city council districts. I now I don't I don't understand state. this whole city council districts thing, but I can understand that right now the people of Santa Cruz do not have a chance to directly vote for mayor. Mm -hmm. The mayor is appointed by the city council, right. and um, and so even even they realized to, to our last caller Nick, even the city council realizes uh, that something's not working. So they are looking into maybe changing the way things are done, and that would one of the ways would be to allow the citizens of Santa Cruz to vote for a mayor, which currently you do not do. The, the mayor is appointed the same way it is in Watsonville, mm -hmm. appointed by the city council. And, of that's course, we know in Watsonville didn't used to be that way. Isn't that uh, a recent uh, development? Um, I don't recent, know, but it? that's the way it is now. I, I don't yeah. know. You could be right about that. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, yeah. yeah, even city council knows that something's got to change. So this clown act out there was dancing on the railroad tracks. and Dancing, uh, da boink. You know, those, <laughs> <laughs> those trains doo, doo. Those trains are super slow, like you said. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, what I was saying. They're, it goes they're like, loud. Less than like five miles an hour. Aren't they steam-powered, right? Yeah, exactly. So they're chugging and chugging and chugging. These are not... Right, uh, and, like, there's kids in that those areas, too, like... This guy, this this guy he must, must have been, have been high out of his I, mind. You no, know, I don't want to assume, but he must have been. Well, you, yeah. Well, I mean, how else could you explain that? Well, right. That's the way I would explain it. I mean, when I read it and he, I saw what you posted on Facebook, I that's what kind of four seven nine ten eighty two one eight five seven two six. Together, and that's what I came up with. DM at kso dot com. All right, Billy. What else are we gonna do? Let me see if I got everything here out well, of the Santa Cruz you know, Sentinel. We're talking oh. about my uh, my birth. Well, not my birthday, but I got a birthday card. Oddly enough, because I mean, I mentioned that my birthday's coming up, but I got a nice birthday card. But Dave, you know, as we get older, you're a little older than me, and you know, sometimes you like to joke that you're thinning and whatnot. Uh, you're yeah, on I'm getting thin. Your yeah, I'm getting thin. Yeah, but here's the thing. What's the, what's about this? Uh, I noticed. I, I look in the mirror today, and this is more recent, like uh, past like year or two. Everything's getting fuzzy on me. Well, that's the thing. My that's ears thing, are getting fuzzy, like fu like I'm a, mu I'm a muppet or something. The hair you know? just migrates. That's all it does. Not, no, no, it's not. It's, no, it's not true. hair. No, it's not hair. It's fuzziness. Dave. No, it, Billy, it will turn into hair. I need someone to call in, please. One of the KSEO Flight 1080 listeners, please call in. Can you recommend a product? And I'm all, I'm totally serious. I need some kind of a wax. Yeah, you need Where I put it. No, David, not nair. Something safe, like a wax putty that I see. I'm doing it on the live stream where I put it on my ears like this, like a putty, right? And then I rip it off and take all that peach fuzzy hair off because I'm turning into a Muppet. Dude, I just, I'm not into I'm it. I'm telling you, uh, that will turn into hair, dude. Every single one of those little fuzzes will turn into hair. What do you mean it's going to turn into hair? Are you kidding me? You know, I'm going to turn into a Sasquatch around here. You know what? <laughs> this is terrible, David. Give me some hope. Every once in a while, you remember <laughs> things that, that just for some reason you just remember some random thing right uh -huh. from from uh, in your in your life i remember i will never forget for the life of me riding the bus to santa cruz i always used to ride the bus to santa cruz in the 80s always, i loved mm -hmm. hanging out up here mm -hmm. and i remember seeing a guy an older gentleman and he had what looked like wigs hanging i mean they, there was a lot of hair hanging <laughs> out of his ears and i was like holy cow i couldn't believe it you're saying and that's then, my and future then, you know and then <laughs> then around this age you start to see things like that you go oh my god uh, man, as soon as I see anything like that, it's cut, clipped, gone. Well, I refuse to let that happen. So do you use any sort of waxes, like I'm saying? No, are you kidding me? No. You use wax? No, no? No. Let me see your earlobes. 
Take off I those usually don't show Dave. people my earlobes, Billy. Really. Ear well, I mean, that's kind of forward, but okay. Let me okay, see. Let me see. Now, see, you don't have fuzzy earlobes. You don't. Your ears aren't fuzzy like mine. Look at me. Look at. Look how fuzzy they are. <laughs> look, Dave. That's crazy. Look. Oh, yeah, you're going to be hairy. Oh, uh, jeez, Dave. I wanted him to give me hope, but I was laughing. 479 1082 dm at kso.com. What else are we going to do, Billy? I just think it's like my putty, and I just like uh, put it on there and uh, pull right off. Well, uh, you, you ready know, for some trivia? Of, we're, we're discussing the end of summer. No, we got to save that, Dave. Uh, All right. And I, we only had like 10 minutes left. You know, we could talk about this. I guess we should. And we'll bring it, run it into the next hour because it is a hot debate, and it's a great topic. And What is it? It's a pizza, Dave, pizza. In Chicago, um, last week or two, three days ago, I think it was maybe five days ago, they opened up a uh, pizza museum in Chicago at uh, Aurelio's, uh, it's called Aurelio's Is Pizza, and uh, it's located in Chicago's South Loop uh, District there, and it features uh, rare pizza boxes, vintage pizza ads, uh, toys and whatnot, promotions, uh, pizza, and then different kinds of, talking about different kinds of pizza around the country. And uh, it's the first uh, uh, pizza museum in the country out there in Chicago. But uh, New Yorkers are, are pizza not... pizza museum? Yes, pizza oh. museum. But uh, New Yorkers are not too happy about it. Uh, I believe the mayor's office uh, tweeted out uh, something a little snarky saying that, you know, deep dish pizza is not really pizza and that the, sh the pizza museum should be in New York, that kind of stuff. Okay. So it opens that, that debate, Dave, of, uh, you know, what's a good pizza? Is it that old, is deep dish or the thin crust? Well, what are you wait, wait a minute. What what's the question? What What's a good pizza or what's a real pizza? Well, you know, New Yorkers are going to say all day long that unless it's a thin crust uh, pizza, it's not even really considered pizza. I think they're probably right about that. All right. So but, you're but, a thin but, crust. You go no, on the, no, no. You, I like you the thick crust. On the, uh, no, the no, no, no. I like no. the thick crust. Oh, you prefer it, but you're right. saying... I'm saying, you know, I mean, g g g listen, Americans get a hold of something and they ruin it all the time with anything they get. And, and I suspect that a real pizza is a very thin bread mm -hmm. with uh, very little toppings. Mm -hmm. uh, so the thinner you can get, the closer you are to the original, originally intended uh, product. I would, I, would, uh, I would tend to agree with you, too, on that one. I, I think thin crust uh, is the way to go. Although I do enjoy a good I didn't say deep it's a way to dish go. pizza. Yes, that's, everyone likes that's a what good I like. deep dish pizza. Yes, but you know to have the Chicago. I mean, do you think the New Yorkers have a little bit of a point there? The mayor's office. I mean, it's all in good fun, of course, no, tweeting it out. But um, you know, to have the Chicago. I mean, the pizza music because in Chicago, a Chicago pizza is by all means deep dish. That's what you they know. Go what, for, dude? Maybe right? we should call Mountain Mike's and see what which uh, what we they should. prefer. We well, I'd love to give. Do you know the number? On it. They have. I I do. We we'll call them during the it's break. It's eight three one. Uh huh. Four. Uh huh. Seven seven. Uh huh. Seven six. Oh, excuse me, seven seven six zero. Yeah, your, your memory's <laughs> kind of foggy there, right? You showed me the paper like I was remembering it, and then I messed it up. Uh, I ruined that, didn't I, Dave? Eight three, I the eight three one four seven 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 six zero. Today's special, Billy, is uh -huh. five dollars off any large pizza. Um, let's see what they, let's see if they have that. So, yeah, so let's there's. Check that out. I think so these they guys, have different types of they have Chicago those. and New York are arguing over. Um, where the pizza meat doesn't Chicago have something better to, to do than well about? it's a little bit in good fun and it's you know media high but I mean the first pizza museum to have it in Chicago and, and you know that's the age-old debate right is that a uh, deep dish Ooh. versus the the uh, thin crust pizza right now I've got a friend uh, recently uh, in town she came from Italy real Italian like straight up 100% Italian and uh, a few times what's her name out. her name is Donna okay and um, yeah, we watched television one time, and a, a commercial came on for, uh, it was a few years ago, it was a Pizza Hut he has, used to have this, uh, it was uh, called a hot dog, uh, stuffed crust pizza, Dave. Do you remember that? Wait, a hot dog? It had hot dogs stuffed into the crust wow. of the pizza. Dude, that sounds now, delicious. When she saw this on television, she was horrified. She never, like, she had been complaining about how awful Americans are with pizza. Then she saw the hot dog pizza and a commercial just, Thought we were monsters, <laughs> just straight up like <laughs> monsters. Was more, yes, I'm I'm serious, Dave. Monsters. No, I, I absolutely hot dogs believe in that. the crust of a pizza. I don't think Jeez. they make it anymore, uh, and that's probably a good thing that they don't. I wonder if Mountain Mike's would do that. They have gluten free. They also have Mountain sandwiches. Mountain Mike's is above that. Uh, let's see, gluten free crust. They have all kinds of toppings here. Um, wh what what are your favorite toppings, Billy? Names. My of favorite toppings. I like the I like linguisa. Um, they got that. I like pepperoni. Well, of course. I like olives. I of like course. the fact that you can get garlic uh, separate there at Mountain Mike's. Yeah, you can get garlic, onions, awesome bell peppers, big on the garlic. pineapple, you. Um, 
How do you feel about pineapple being on the Oh, you know it's what? Somebody was just right? talking about this reason. I, you know, I got to say that I'm not into anything it. About I'm just not into it. I'm not into pineapple on pizza. I don't, I don't see anything don't about deep dish really. pizza here uh, um, from Mountain Mike's. No, you know, typically uh, most places don't make a real uh, deep dish uh, pizza. Now, there used to be a place out in Watsonville years ago in the 80s. They're no longer around. They were just a little family business. And they had a place called Stuffed Crust Pizza. And they did a, a deep dish, uh, very thick uh, crust pizza. Did you ever have their pizza, Dave? No. Yeah, it was a real good one. They're not around anymore. They but didn't man. stuff them with hot dogs, though. No, thankfully, they did not. No. Damn, dude. They had a little more class wow. than that. A little more class than that. <laughs> class? Well, that's not classy. I don't think no, that it's is right not classy, to be sticking but I, a hot dog I mean, up in the What pizza is though. classy? I mean, you. So you would hey. go up to them. You would go up to them and tell them you just removed all the class that there is from the pizza industry. From I well, I don't know. I I feel it when a when a real Italian sees something like that and they feel that we're monsters for doing it, they're probably right. Oh, they are absolutely. Two one eight five seven two six. How many people have been hit by? Oh, many people have been hit by trains wearing earbuds listening to music. Mm, that could be it. That could be it, dude. Yeah, because they said he was dancing, right? Oh, right, right. And his friends right. were screaming at him, hey, there's a train, hey, there's a train. He he stood up, boom, and got hit by a train, got yeah. run over by a train. That's 831-218-5726. Um, right. Robert De Niro is a POS. I don't know what that means. Well, um, I was saying that Robert De Niro, uh, it was his, it's his birthday. And some um, people, you know, are heated about De Niro because he made that, that, that video statement a while back about Trump, and he's entitled to his opinion, you know? If you don't like him now, I'm sorry to hear that. 218-5726, shouldn't, you know, shouldn't this mayoral election committee be done by an independent committee without any conflict of interest? I would say yes. I would say that's a good uh, question. Um, I don't know. I don't have any power over this. All I know is yeah, what I, I read in the Sanford Yeah, I don't know much about it, Dave. It's, it's very interesting. I mean, I'll look into it. It's uh, Something needs to be done. People aren't pleased in this town. Right. Upset. Um, you know, the, and, and currently there's there's a two-year limit on, once you do become mayor, there's a two-year limit, a term limit, a two-year limit on, on the um, term, and yes, you can't really get too much done right, in right. two years. Now, what's the weirdest pizza you ever had, Dave? Looks like we got a caller in the air with uh, us. The here. weirdest pizza I ever had. Or the most uh, unusual. Wait. Because, you know, the pineapple, best pizza, people the diss on the pineapple. Some people love it. And uh, that's not really that unusual pizza because a lot of people actually do like pineapple pizza. Um, sometimes I've had, I once had a, like a pizza had like a white sauce. That was odd. Oh, that's like great. Are you, are you the one from sauce? Mountain Mike's? Um, no, I have not had Mountain Mike's no, the, in particular. Oh, the one from Mountain Mike's one. is great. Do you know we haven't we haven't even picked up our our pizza this week? Maybe we could do it today. Hey, ah. uh, maybe somebody will bring us over a pizza here. We'll bring them on the YouTube live stream and we'll taste it on the air with them. Or maybe we somebody. can go pick up a pizza and have our listeners invite uh, come in and join us. Well, I don't know if that's no, a good that's idea because one time, Dave, we were, we had a show going and and the uh, oh. stranger with the guitar walked in. Now, see, you know what? I actually do want to talk about that story because we didn't get a chance to talk about it. Here's what happened, everybody, that don't know because Dave is such a pro, and I was following his lead, and that is MZ, the owner, walked in, and both of us, I think, we assumed this man walking in behind MZ was probably somebody MZ knew. Turns out he was not. It was just some random older fellow with a guitar, and then we invited him. He played two songs, and we had a great time. But it was strange. It was a stranger wandered into the studio. And it looks like Dave's got another caller on the line. Flight 1080. Dave Michaels, I am All Billy right. Army. Let's, let's get to the phone calls. Billy, Dave is calling from Salinas. You're in the air. Hey, Dave, hey. what's going on? How are you guys? Good, man. I have a pet peeve about trains, man, and people that talk about the train hit them. They are on a track. They cannot move left or right like a car or a truck. Right. The train is coming. Get out of the way. That's all. That's all there is to it. I get so mad when I hear people say, oh, the train hit the car. Right, because no, it's not like a bird. The car put themselves in front of the train to mm. get hit. I hear you. I hear you. That is a Thank cogent you. point. Good, good and point, And I think Dave. that that man's uh, forehead is going to... He's going to feel it in the morning. He tried to stop a train with his head, which is incredibly... No, you uh, shouldn't do that. No. Angela, line two, you're in the air. Hi, Angela. Hey, Dave. Love your show. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, I was going to tell you my weirdest pizza experience, but it's also the worst. If you think Americans can destroy pizza, you should have pizza in England. Ooh. I had a pizza there. English and food had, is awful. Yeah, I had peas and I think broccoli or it just has the worst vegetables on it, peas and carrots, something like that. Uh, me and Dave Lord. are making the most barfy faces we can. Ugh, yeah, thank yeah. you. Thank you, Angela. Yeah. Mm. You know what? I'm surprised that English people don't boil their pizza. <laughs> 
considering they boil everything. <laughs> boil their pizza. Uh, Steve is calling That's from Aptos. Boiled pizza. Steve, you're in the air. Hey, there's no bad pizza. But anyway, listen. Boiled um, pizza. I think the New Yorkers got an attitude because I think Chicago deep, deep dish pizza can be awesome. When we were, when I was in high school, on Sundays, my dad would take us down to this little restaurant like Dave described in Watsonville. It was like a little mom and pop hole in the wall owned by Italians that made the most amazing deep dish pizza pie. We'd get about three or four box fulls and take them home. And the nice thing about them is they build that thick crust, but they layer on about an inch and a half of topping. Yeah. It's almost like a meat sauce. I like thick crust, yeah. It's, it's, it's like a meat sauce. It almost comes out like lasagna. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, one or two slices of that, and you're, you know, you're down for the night. Like, yeah, that's good stuff. I mean, it's, 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 it's like heavy duty in that... You know, those Frisbee-style New York styles, like real thin crust, the thinner the crust, the more New York they think it is. And it's like, you know, you can have it. It's like a tostada. Right, yeah. And, and at some point, I mean, I don't know what you, who you think you're, you're fooling, but I, I want to eat something, and I don't want to eat a, a piece of paper, a sheet of paper with some toppings on it. I want a pizza. Now, Caller, yeah, you said this, those, those, Caller, those you said this place was in Watsonville? Rock, man. I think... I think we need more thick crust pizza. I like that Chicago style pizza. I think somebody's missing a bet. I think they should bring that back. There's none of it around here, mm. and it's it's delicious. All right, it's good. Now, this place you were talking about that had this pizza was this in Watsonville? You said? No, it was like Dave described. The oh, one, the one similar to stuffed crust North. that I was talking about. Okay, cool. Thank Excellent. you for the call, Steve. Four seven nine one zero eight zero two one eight five seven two six. DM at kso dot com. Eight three one is the area code. By the way, sometimes I forget to mention that. We're hanging out with Billy Army today. If you want live to join streaming us, there's ways on to do oh, yeah. live streaming. Uh, live streaming on YouTube. Flight Check 10 us 8 out. channel. Please go to the uh, YouTube channel, Flight 1080. Hit that like button and subscribe. Yeah, there we go. There we go. You're listening to AM 1080 KSEO Santa Cruz. It is 514 on this beautiful Friday afternoon. The weekend is straight ahead. Keep it tuned in, KSEO Santa Cruz. We're going to have some fun coming right up. Check it out. What's going on, dude? We look cool. We got our shades on for Aretha Franklin. Oh, yeah, that's right on. We're at Aretha Franklin Day over here at KSEO Radio. And the cool thing is if you go to the uh, YouTube live stream... You can check out our beautiful set. It's Sanford and Son inspired, and because uh, we don't right <laughs> now, we mean? just don't. We don't have the what green screen uh, hooked up yet. Well, look behind us, Dave. There's like, like this couch from what? What do you think? 1971, uh, possibly. Yeah, that's a cool couch. And, uh, I like that couch. Everybody makes well, fun of that couch. Well, it just doesn't look good it's in a magic the couch, picture. Dude. That is couch, all. That it's just couch. a visual thing. It's a cool couch and everything. No, it's a cool couch. But you see, right. but then you look at the couch behind us, and then you see also. The weird stuff and like the stain. Can you see the KSEO? Bag? I can see sort of like the paint behind us on the wall. It's like stained and like not. Oh, right. it's not stains, dude. It that, looks that, like that's... Sanford and Son, Dave. Sanford and Son Radio over wow. here, Flight 1080. Until we get the green screen. We, got, we have the be, green. We're hey, be look, even check this out. Then. Now I was telling people about those postcards I get right from the past. Yeah, that was now, tell really me, cool. Now tell me, tell me about this. Look, this is one I just well, found this in the, in the bag. It's typed. I'm going to hold it's, it there. Um, it is typed, right? It's it's typed in the back. I'm going to turn it around. Hand typed, too. an old school typewriter. And it is it's from Aptos. From Aptos. I couldn't read it. I couldn't it says make Captain it out. Michaels. I've been so deep in the wilderness that I have not been able to catch Flight 1080 lately. This was written in the in the winter. It looks like uh, the late rains interspersed in the sunny days have produced. A something wildflowers like lupin, milkweed, and, and something else. I can't read it either. Uh, but there it is. And look at the stamps. I'm going to turn around. Let me see if I can hide the address there. Okay, look at the stamps on that thing. I mean, though, that is an old, old uh, postcard, I suspect, from a time traveler, Billy. Um, that's cool. Do, do you have a better explanation for I it? I do not have a better explanation. I like your explanation. Yes. It's way cool. You can check it out on YouTube. Uh, and also, uh, did you did you see that? Um, I see you have no audio turned up almost. Hey, that's a, the third time. Do we have sound now, you guys? Uh, go ahead and, and write us on our Do on we our have sound? I'm going to check YouTube real quick. Page. Hold on. Uh, hey, before okay, you know what? Let's just see. Let us, we can do this. Uh, if we go on. No, no. Wait. Just, just, just wait, Billy. Hold on. Let's check this out. We are going to run a check right here. Oh, there we go. So, yeah. yeah there we go. We got sound. We got sound. All right. We got sound. Somebody doesn't know how to use the internet. I'm not saying... Well, you say that, Billy. Well, 
Is that not a nice thing to say? It's not very nice at all. I want to say nice things. Hold on. Let's let's check this out. Hold on. No, we got sound. We, we got, got sound. sound. Okay, so we yeah, go ahead and check us out on YouTube. Everything is working just fine. Just fine. And if you dandy. didn't check it out, then you just missed that postcard that I showed you. That is a cool postcard. Yeah. What is that? Uh, it almost looks like is that caves of, uh, is that in California? I believe so. It's a cave system, Billy. It doesn't say where it is. It's just a cave. Doesn't it say, uh, let me look on the back of it, could Dave, be, because it I be think anywhere. it'll say where it is, won't it? Um, it looks like it. Uh, uh, oh, you know oh, what? Oh, yes, it does, Dave. Look right it's here. On, it's it's the, the uh, Gothic Room. It's the chamber within these remarkable caved somethings. It's uh, 200 feet in length, 60 feet in width, a ceiling height of 58 feet. It's the Mercer Caverns in Murphy's, uh, California, yes, Dave. that place. Yeah. Um, no cool. sound on, on the handheld phone. So they're watching on, on their phones, Billy, and they got no sound. Well, they're so watching on their phones. So I think you screwed something up there, buddy. Um, I don't think that has anything to do with what right. it is so we're doing So what are we going to do, Billy? Are we going to complain or are we going to talk about these we're stories? We're not going to complain about it. We're going to talk about these stories, Dave. Right. You have the copy of the Wall Street Journal I do have a copy of the Wall Street Journal here, and I wanted to talk about... Um, did, did you have anything that you want to bring up before? Well, I, I do. Story? We were continuing on with, you know, it is the end of summer uh, oh, here right. and kids are going back to school. Yes, that's and right. And I want to talk about uh, summer vacation, Dave. Right thing. Did anyone out there have a cool summer vacation? Now, recently, now that we're speaking about YouTube, and I do really encourage everyone to go to the Flight 1080 channel on YouTube, hit the like and subscribe button. I can't see the highlight. And uh, you'll see when Dave goes live, time. which is excellent, excellent. And, uh... Dave, are you looking for a specific article? Yeah, and you know, I have it all highlighted, but I can't see them because of these glasses. Now I can see it. Ah, uh, now you can see. But it. now I don't look as. Well, clear. hold on. Here's the thing. Uh, now is, people can see my eyes. Is are summer all red vacations. And I want to hear from the uh, KSU audience, listeners. Did you guys have any cool summer vacations? Where'd you go? What'd you do? Interesting things. Hey, that's now a I've good, been looking on idea. YouTube recently, and I discovered a, a YouTube channel that I really like, and it's uh, basically a fellow Is it the out in Japan. Bagger? No, out in Japan, oh. and he just goes around walks. He shoots in 4K video. And he'll do like an hour-long walk in uh, like Japan, different areas in Japan. I'm sure the fellow lives in Japan. But it's fascinating, man, fascinating. The architecture of Japan, the streets of Japan. Um, they just oh. had a uh, uh, fireworks festival recently. He posted something there. Um, he posted something from last winter recently where they did a ice sculpture uh, carving. All these beautiful, beautiful, like 10-foot tall ice sculptures. And uh, all in Japan, it's just, I'm just so fascinated by Japan and these walking tours that he does. He doesn't speak. It's just the camera and him walking along. You get an idea of just the sounds and the sights. And uh, surprisingly enough, a lot of English signs, uh, and apparently uh, they speak quite a bit of English in Japan. I, I did not know that. So I'm getting kind of interested in Japan, Dave, really uh, interested in Japan. It looks like a really fascinating place. And I recommend uh, all of you out there, if you want to check out that YouTube channel, it is uh, called Ram Balak, and that's R A M B A L A C. Ram Balak, and uh, he does. Uh, like I said, I think it's a he uh, walks around there and does uh, videos shooting in 4K in wow. Japan on YouTube. Well, so I, where, I, does, where does he go? Which cities does he go to? Um, the most recent one I saw. I'm not sure what city. It seems like he goes to different places um, in Japan. Uh, Japan's actually not that large. As you may know, Dave. But the most recent one, he posted something, uh, the Susukino Ice Sculptures uh, Festival. Now, that comes around the wintertime, and he just uh, posted that recently. He's having technical difficulties. Mm -hmm. But usually he posts new material, like brand-new videos, uh, almost every other uh, couple of days. And it's just, i got to say, Dave, I just think Japan is a beautiful, beautiful place. But you're going to be playing your, uh, you've hijacked the Billy's Tasty and Tainted Trivia and I don't know if I'm going to feel too good about Japan after I play your 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 version of Billy's Tasty and Tainted Trivia, Dave. What do you mean, Billy? What do you mean, what I mean? I thought you got some... Uh, I do, I do have that. Yeah, uh, I was just checking the oh, sound. You know, oh, sound's sound. working good on our computer. So yeah, on our end, we are good. I've been getting a lot of complaints here. Um, is, are Billy's ears really that hairy? Yes, they are. Oh, the come man, on. The man you. is going to be... Well, the uh, thing is, Dave, that one person in the you're end gonna look is like looking a on YouTube. If you're not hearing it, it could be your phone. After we're out of here at the studio, I'll check and, and see what the live stream ends up Billy, being. But, uh, you're going to look like a lynx, gonna, dude, with the, your ear. Uh, a lynx? Hair. Yeah. Oh, with the be, tips? If, yes, uh, with the tips, you know, and the, the cat that has the... Yeah, the, okay, the okay. Hairs on, t on the ears. I mean, is that... Is it, 
I mean, we talked about this between the break because I did get concerned, and I showed Dave again. It's like my, my they are fuzzy, right? A little yeah, too fuzzy. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, four so seven nice. nineteen eighty. So this guy walks around which towns, Billy? Which cities? Uh, this is in Japan, Dave. He walks around all of the major city uh, cities, Tokyo, uh -huh. of course, and uh, I can't remember. There's a spire of some kind, a large um, tower. Uh, very famous. I wish I would have wrote down the name, but I saw this maybe two weeks ago. He did a video of it. But he walks about three or four or five miles away. And it was such an interesting walk because he goes from a, an area that was built probably 1850s. And the homes are still around. The sidewalks are very small. Uh, and he walks all the way down into the city area, where it's modernized, of course. This is at night. And mm -hmm. he walks into, this, into the building. And it's beautiful. You can go up, and it's open to the public, and you can see the whole city out uh, from the top of this building. And there's restaurants in this tower. I mean, just fat. Japan is just a fascinating, fascinating place. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm just uh, I'm loving it, Dave. Oh, really? I wonder if, if any of our listeners know anything about Japan. Maybe somebody knows how to read Japanese, because if you do, I would like you to translate this. Okay. Well, you have a Japanese I, I, magazine. I have here a Japanese sometime. magazine, and, I, and if you can translate... Check this out. Give us a call and tell us what that says. Now, I'm holding it to the camera. Why, Billy? Well, you wanted them to go to the YouTube channel, right. and uh, this is an authentic uh, Japanese magazine. I'm sure right. Dave picked this up today when he picked up the uh, products available. He's right. I had I'm to go to San Jose in order to prepare for this. So, so San Jose, yeah, someone go to the Flight 1080 channel. Look at that. Dave's holding it up right Anybody now. Anybody know how to read Japanese? I would... Uh, and uh, if you don't have a moment to do it, if you get to the channel, you can go back in the feed a little bit, and you can uh, see I'll, it too. I'll hang it over here. I, so, yeah. I don't oh, know if they can see. Okay. I don't well, know if they can see that, that or not. I don't know. All right, Billy, you ready? Now Dave is blocking the entire camera, so no one can see anything No. <laughs> on, on YouTube. No, it's fine, Dave. Let's move on. Let's go. Uh, we do a Tasty Antenna Trivia, Dave style, right? I guess. Yes. Okay, you ready? Well, I'm not ready. Cause I don't oh, know if it's I, Dave style. We're, we're just going to talk, Billy, and every oh, once in a while, right. throughout the rest of the show, I will throw you a question oh. and try to make you vomit your guts out. Well, I'm excited about it, and I hope the audience is too. I Interesting. Okay. Are. I don't know if they well, are or not, Billy, but I don't care because it's, it's time for revenge. <sighs> we gotta, you ready? Should, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. Fine, I'm ready. Go and I'm gonna, you, you're, gonna, uh, you're going to reach into the bag and okay. pull out your, your gift or your treatment. You ready? Where's the bag at? Oh, it's right here. Oh, Dave's got it. Uh, oh, wow, it's huge. It's, uh, well, it's only like that, so this way you could reach into it without seeing. Like, oh, I don't know if you're okay. uh, the type of person that cheats, or I don't know if no, you're no, a cheater, cheater, or cheat, pumpkin eater. Um, okay, here we go. Um, All right, here we go. Some funky Japanese music going on there in the background, Billy. You like that? I like that, Dave. I do All like right, that. all right. That's cool. Uh, we got a special guest joining us. MZ just walked into the studio. Hey, MZ, how are you doing? Uh, do I get to be called a special guest because I host the Saturday special? Uh, that is That's one reason. One. Yeah. That's true, yeah. Um, what are you going to bring up on the Saturday special, by the way? What is, uh, what is it's, it? We're going to have a special guest uh, named Tane Chan, T-A-N-E-C-H-A-N, a really cool lady from Chinatown in San Francisco that I met about five years ago. She owns a company called The Walk Shop on Grant Avenue. And uh, what a character. Uh, I've been meaning to get her on the radio uh, just, just because I like characters, right? I mm -hmm. mean, mm -hmm. and Flight 1080 is a perfect place for characters, right? The whole KSCO radio station is a perfect place for characters. So, uh, but but why why tomorrow instead of during the last five years well um dave you you probably know that uh the company that we are involved in longevity you and i mm -hmm. and other people around here is making a vast vast uh movement into expansion into asia excuse right. me with, yes right with, absolutely with uh, uh china uh and and uh, the philippines mm -hmm. and singapore and a number of places, and I figured I would let Tane, who knows everybody in Chinatown, know about this uh, and see if she had any interest at all. She, I haven't even talked with her about it. And and it doesn't matter. Whether now, MZ, are you going to spring this on her during the Saturday no, special? No, not at all. I would, no. That's classless. You know, oh. I, I, I wouldn't do that, but but I'm, I'm just explaining how, how it came to pass now. Mm -hmm. I would want to have a character on 
whether they got involved in our business or sure, not. Sure, sure, sure. You know, because it's good radio. You know that right? she's going to come on. She's going to be fun and enter, enter, entertaining. I think so. I, and she's going to give us the background of, of cooking and walks and stuff like that. And cool. cool. And we'll 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 get into politics, I'm sure. And but but what was really funny is I told her I had told her a little bit about this. When I called her to remind her and try to get her to remember who me meeting me a few years ago, um, and I, I told her that I'm in this nutritional supplement. And by the way, a, a company. And by the way, I'm coming down to get another uh, can opener because her her kitchen you you know kitchen supplies store the walk shop. Uh -huh. ha I bought the best can opener I ever had in my life. It was yeah, like eleven ninety five, and it's a manual one. But it, 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 it really slides across the cans, and you don't quality. have to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Super high quality. Yeah, Dave has her website pulled up here. So I like mentioned that to her. Different quality items, walks and all kinds of stuff. When I was talking to her, I told her uh, she, she's really sharp. She's an older lady, but she's really, really sharp. Why do I know? Because she said to me, why are you opening cans when you're in the nutrition business? Uh -huh. Wasn't that a smart that thing is to very say? That astute, of course. Yeah. Because yeah, that was pretty sharp. Yeah, and, she said, and she, said, she said it 10 times faster than I just said it because her mind is, that, is 10 times quicker than mine is. Right. And so, anyhow, I'm looking forward to it. What would you tell her? What was uh, I, said, I said, you make a very good point, and I feel ashamed. <laughs> I would have told her, mind her own damn business. <laughs> no, no, no. You said I want it for my cats. I really, I, a cat I, really I really wanted. Her. What did you say about a cat? You have house? a lot of cats at your house. That's why you had a, you needed a can opener, right? No. Yeah. To open the cat food. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that would have been. That's I can't I, think that quick. I really can't, Billy. We can but use that on our next time. Okay. Uh, say so, by the way, I have a lot of cats. It was. The, <laughs> <laughs> I, I. It may or may not come up tomorrow. I don't know what's going to come up. The whole whole show might be a disaster. I've thought. No, why do you? You were just like Dave. Before I came here with Dave, Dave's complaining the show's going to be terrible and this and it's going to. No, I. Okay, I'm exaggerating a little may. bit. May. I just concerned. said May. And uh, I don't want to build Dave, something don't, up don't and then that out and the then not like that. MZ, just have a positive. It's going to be. I great, do. I do a have good a positive. show. It's going to be. A, it's going to be a great show. Now, Dave gets nervous when I say stuff like that. Does that make you nervous if I, you're going to have a great show, MZ? We have a do surprise you feel, for do you, you. Do you feel that 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 would does that jinxes it if someone says have maybe a great we show? have a, we have a surprise for you today. It's going to be a good show. Uh, surprise, surprise. <laughs> right? <So>. Negative. <laughs> All right, so that'll I'll be on the Saturday that. special. And now, MZ, you did like those frog chips, right? Which uh, sure. <laughs> neither one of us liked. Yeah, well, I'll eat the rest of. Except they're, it, the, 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 I think they're the full of, of oil here, on their here. fried. Well, let's see. Well, we're gonna well, we're, they're, they're we're gonna open up a new we're gonna open up a new product. You can taste with us. Here, here's a question, Billy. Okay, here we go. Next one, Dave. Um, Give me another Japanese question. What is the most active volcano in Japan? Uh, okay. Is it Sakurajima, Mount Fuji, or Mount, Mount Aso? Mount what? <laughs> Mount Aso. <laughs> okay, what's the first one again? Give me the first uh, one. Mount Sakurajima. Mount Sakurajima, Mount Fuji, okay, or now, Mount Aso. The question was the most active, right? Yes. yes, the most active volcano in Japan. Um, Well, Mount Fuji, as we know, Sakurajima, uh, not too long ago. Fuji or Aso. I'm going to have to go with uh, the A, number w the, the number one, Saku Sakura. Sakurajima? Yes. You are wrong. Dang it. The most active volcano yeah. in Japan is Mount Fuji. Ah. It is not Mount Sakurajima or it Mount too I was thinking it of saying, yeah, because you Cause never hear about. Recently. Right, right, you haven't heard about eruptions. Okay, no. here we go. Here we go. Uh, all right, all right. Let's see. Here, give me the, uh, but you were saying that that, fir that third choice you had. Yes, uh, Mount it, Aso. Yeah, it sounded, it sounded unsavory. Mm. <laughs> it's like it's like it's like it's like that town in Massachusetts that I certainly want wouldn't want to be from Athol, Massachusetts. Would you want to be from Athol, Massachusetts? I would get worried if Mike Tyson Sounds like lived somebody there. with the list. If Mike right? Tyson lived there, he'd have a real hard time pronouncing <laughs> it. It'd be a double negative. It's A S O one. Mount Aso. Right, I pick something Aso. out here, guys, okay. and it's a uh, I don't know. It's like a little box of something. It almost looks like a. a I know what that is. You know what that that's 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 the one thing that okay. does have a. a 
Wait, the description in English on it. Yeah, if you look really? small enough, yeah, it's no. yeah, it's really really small. Go ahead and open it though. Seasoned kelp. Yeah, that's disgusting. So it's about time you get something gross. Uh, yeah, yeah. Are we still streaming, Billy? Uh, yeah, we're streaming. Okay, yeah, we're yeah. streaming live. YouTube, Are you in charge of streaming YouTube. today, Billy? Well, Billy's I'm, always in I'm charge of streaming. I'm pushing the buttons now. We're gonna try to automate it so that you know I don't have to be here and it'll still happen. This guy, this guy gets it. Time and he's great at that. All right, uh, here we go. He's gonna help us get that kind of stuff set up. Okay. Oh dear. What is that? Is that a block? You know, or those layers? I, it's in wax paper, number one. And it's, it's kelp. It's kelp. I like kelp, by the way. Really? Yeah, I don't know that I like it. Like this is the weirdest though. thing I've ever. This is Ew. Weird. They're like strips. Ew. So, uh, you want to try one, MZ? Always. Really? Oh, it's right. smells, what about, what's it smells this? absolutely awful. Oh, that's Slender FX. Those I are know, fiber sprinkles. I know what it is. But what is it doing here? I thought I was the only one who liked it, and that's why okay. they discontinued it. I don't know. Yeah, I can't even stick that in my mouth. Actually, you know what? Okay. It tastes like, honestly, Ew. yeah, it tastes, it tastes like what I think kelp would taste like, kind of like a leafy kind of. But it has this weird, uh, the just treated with chemical or something. Yeah, the seasoning. Is I think it's treated it. with urea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to barf now. <laughs> I'm spitting it out. <laughs> Yeah, I'm spitting it out. It wasn't so bad at first, but then it turned on me. And, uh, yeah, it's... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's no good. <laughs> Dave, have you gotten your revenge finally? Are you happy now? <laughs> yeah, that was... Uh, oh, that was good. That was... Oh, that was nasty. Oh, the aftertaste is really the... Okay. Layers. Ew, that's it gross. Is it's a little it weird tasting. I like weird foods normally. Not sure um, I like that. I like different stuff too, but that's not. I went and got all this stuff at at uh, Mitsua Japanese Market over in San Jose. Uh, that's a, a Japanese market. But I want to go to uh, Ranch. Are 99. these considered like? Is this a candy that we just ate? I don't like, know. What is this considered? It's, it's all Japanese like, foods. So bizarre. I have no idea. I do yeah. not speak. Nor all right, read. Billy. All right, do me a question, Dave. <laughs> uh, the name. Uh, or hold on, we got somebody calling here. Let me well, screen this real quick. You want to see if I. Uh, See if I barfed, or maybe the caller is calling in to let us know what some of these wonderful Japanese products are. We held it up to the live stream earlier, these uh, frog-tasting chips. MZ tried one. He actually liked it. And yeah. uh, you can check it out. Go to our YouTube channel here, Flight 1080 on YouTube. Hit that like and subscribe button. All right. And we'll get uh, notifications when Dave goes live. Uh, 47980, we're going to get to the next question, but Gene is calling from Capitola, so we'll take him first. You're in the air, Gene. Hey, Gene, how's it going? Found out if you have too many frog chips, you croak. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right about that. That's very good. Uh, thank you for the call, Gene. Okay, here we go. Okay. Um, Japan does have an island for homeless cats. They, they, they do have an island. They, the Japanese love cats. Um, they do. The name of that island is Ajishima Tashiro Himar. Tashiro Himar. Or Shojima, the name of the island for Jap for uh, cats. These Homeless questions cats. are so impossible. Ajishima, <laughs> Tashihiro Himar, uh -huh. or Shojima. I'm gonna go with the last one. You're wrong. Dang it was it. to oh, it's a uh, Tashihi Tashihiroma. Tashihi okay. Tashihiro right. Hima. Tashihiro Hima. That's it. And what is that again? That's that is a, place a homeless for uh, the, the place for cats. It's an island a place for cats. dedicated to homeless kitty cats. Well, I'm very, a cat guy. Cute. I'm a cat guy, and I know right now that the universe is going to be on my side. Here, let MZ pick. The, who's All right, yeah. The MZ, next treat. Pick. Then, go ahead and pick the next treat. You have MZ. a pussy cat pick, at I, home? I, have a, I do have a cat. I have a black cat. One oh, it's a, National Black Cat Day Appreciation Day, too. Is it? By the way. Yeah, yeah. Wow, cool. My, I'm going to yeah. tell my cat that when yeah. I get back. So go ahead and stick your arm in there, MZ. Don't look. I thought that was Halloween. Whatever you grab is what we're going to try out. Oh, another seaweed thing. <laughs> Choco sand. I don't think that's Cho seaweed. Chocolate seaweed. Oh, good. I, I, I don't think that's what... I think that's... Uh, MZ is going... Look at he's <laughs> no, He's already eating it. He didn't even wait. Aren't you supposed to? <laughs> yeah. That's what that's what am I supposed well, to do? Well, I mean... Oh, did, is it good? I think so. Here it is. Like, I'm holding it up to the camera. Mm, certainly crunchy. Oh. You know what? Oh, these actually are good. Oh, yeah. yeah these, these are, are like good. chocolate. Yeah. No, I, yeah. I suspect this is green tea flavored. Um, I think yeah, so. Yeah, I think, I think they you're are right. green tea chocolate. Oh, these are good. Yeah, these are good. Mm. You know, it has kind of have an as aftertaste of hay. It of it hay? Hay, yeah. It do, you know, it has, a, it has a very... Hey, you're right. A cornstarchy kind of aftertaste, huh? A little bit? Mm -hmm. 
Those are not bad, though. Mm, those aren't bad. Yeah, those By are far, the bad. worst one was that kelp. Nah, uh, the kelp was pretty bad, but those frog things, uh, the aftertaste. Yeah, the frog ones were, were pretty bad. Uh, 4, 7, 9, 10, 8. So your, your guest for the Saturday special will be, um, what was her name again? Tane Chan. Tane Chan. I'm, I'm checking out her website now, and she sells a lot of really good stuff, reasonably priced, too. Um, walks, walks. A lot of uh, a little cooking uh, wear, it looks like. Yeah, I think I think Baskets. Flight 1080 should do a pilgrimage up to the city one of these days. Don't oh, you? We'd love to do that. Yeah, that'll be fun to do that. I'll, I'll ask Tane on the air tomorrow. I'll put her on the spot. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Sounds places, good. Places. I mean, it's uh, it's not very big, but there's a basement there where they fill, where they fill all their worldwide internet orders. I mean, they, 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 that she big? has a big, it's, it's turned into a big business, yeah. Wow. Seems like Chinatown's wow. also so interesting. Uh, you know, being in Chinatown, uh, did you get a chance to look oh. at the location? You're describing the back location where they ship out of. But uh, what about, their, do they have a storefront? Oh, yeah. They, um, yeah. Right on Grant. And I imagine it's really relatively small, you know. Right I Grant, imagine they do on more Grant near Sacramento, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Cool. You know, uh, somebody called during the break, and they wanted our help, or they wanted the audience's help. Oh, figuring yeah. out a movie that they had uh, watched and couldn't remember. Oh, yeah. This sure. is a, a Japanese, Japanese movie. Film. A Japanese movie, I guess, is, as she sounded relatively young. She watched it when she was younger. I don't know, maybe 10, 15 years ago. I don't know how old this movie is. Um, the movie is about um, people, I guess, when they, when they die and they are being interviewed whether or not they're going to be allowed to go into heaven, they have to tell of their favorite memory. And your admittance into heaven is based upon that that memory. So they take your favorite memory and they let you live it forever. That mm -hmm. is that is your heaven. Mm -hmm. You forget all other memories though. Right. So the only memory you have to take to heaven with you is your very best memory, your favorite memory. That's the one you take with you to heaven. When you're being interviewed, if you cannot come up with an answer, you get left behind down here as an interviewer. Right, so if you can't come up with the answer, you get stuck down here and you start interviewing people who can come up with the answers. Those people are sent to heaven. Now, the, the main character in this movie was an older lady. And I guess somehow her dream, her favorite memory was about some shoes that her brother gave her that she would dance all the time in. And I guess that's the memory she took with her to heaven, uh -huh. what was uh -huh. her dancing in, in her red shoes. Right. Um, which sounds like a beautiful movie, but I don't know. Any, anybody seen that? Give yeah, us a call. Yeah, I never heard of that one either, that movie. Hey, UMZ, does that ring any bells? No. Nah. Nine. Nine. Nine <laughs> kind of vagues. Four, seven, nine, ten, eight. You want to take one more uh, test? Or you, you, yeah, yeah, can, I, can I finish another out. grab bag? Yeah, he let's, let's, start let's, eating let's ask, let's ask the question. You questions. can take whatever's left. How's that sound? You can take whatever's left. Like what's left? Oh, there you go. Wait, 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 or, May, or wait, hold on a second. We need to use MZ. We need to use you to our advantage. You should sample all these. Tell me what the worst one is, okay. huh. and then let me eat that one. Because Dave's been trying to torture me. That's been the goal of this, is to give yeah, me how something are those? really bad to eat. What is that, by the way? One hundred percent orgasmic chestnuts. Oh well, those sound good, Dave. <laughs> orgasmic chestnuts. Those sound messy. I mean organic. Yeah. Oh, how are they? Yeah, those turned on them. I don't like. <laughs> are they rancid? Those might be the ones, Dave. They're on sale. Are they rancid? Those might be the ones. He's handing me them. <laughs> All right, ask me the... Oh, you know... Ew. What are they? Are, are they, they spicy? Have they what, been what is pickled? It? They're just... Ew, they've been like... They're just tasteless <laughs> and have a pickled. weird... No, oh. they're not pickled. I would like them if they were pickled. They're just... They're just big... They're just nothing blobs. Okay, Dave. Do you see what this looks like, Dave? They're chestnuts. <laughs> okay. Now, many people don't know this, but in World War II, it's a known fact that uh, a fellow by the name of Adolf Hitler only had one testicle. Isn't that true, MZ? Have you heard that? And you think this is... I think this, this other one might be the... <laughs> Oh, they do look like... <laughs> Found in a jar. Mad, huh? Found in a jar like it was pickled. Wait, is it... Oh, you you know just tasted not, it, too. Is it good? They're not, they're not good, but... Uh, they're not horrible. I love they're chestnuts. just chestnuts. You know... Yeah, bland. It's not the cal. Uh, well, it's oh, not no, worth no, no. the calories. These I don't aren't think. bad at all. Yeah. These I'll are actually good. These are actually good. It's not worth I the calories. Chestnuts. I agree. Not worth the calories. No, these are actually not bad. These actually aren't that uh, unhealthy for you. This is yeah. a healthy snack. You bully the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> I love chestnuts. All right. No, it's a healthy um, snack. Four seven nineteen eight. So MZ the Saturday special will be on tomorrow from ten to two or from yeah, ten to twelve. Ten to twelve. Yeah, and you're going to be here from ten to two. I'll right? be here from ten to two. Yeah. Okay. And if um, if things get slow, which I don't think they will, but if they do. Uh, we're going to, um, Rosie said we should have uh, some ethnic humor. 
We should have some jokes. All right. The jokes on the edge, like we used to do in the, the joke 90s. specials, and all the times you guys do jokes. Do you remember those? Always fun. I do. Were, I've heard some of those. Yeah, well, from absolutely. like from the nineties. Well, I've heard you play clips uh, from the nineties, re more recently oh, on shows. Okay. But whenever you guys do that, it's always fun, and the audience seems to love it. I mean, there's some, you know, you got to be careful about going over the line, but that's part of the fun of it, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't mind going over the line, but we better not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, check out the Saturday special. I'll be out there as well from 10 to 2 tomorrow, uh, 2300 Portola Drive. 6.31 is the time. We're going to break for local news. Phil D. Seth is standing by. Keep it tuned in. We'll be right back. 479-1080-2185726. Okay, I got two more questions left. Right, uh, MZ, you going you gonna to take part in this? Hey, I want MZ on my team on this one, helping me answer, because these questions are too hard, Dave. He's on my team now. I, I've conscripted him. I think I'll... Make sure you lose them. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll keep that in mind as you're e possibly helping me. I'll try my best. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Next, here's the next, next question. Here's the next question. Japanese question. Um, kamenote. Okay. Kamenote is a Japanese delicacy. Okay. In Japan. Okay. Um, kamenote is a Japanese goose barnacles. B C cucumber or C horse meat. Wait a minute. Kamenote is Hold on a second. I want you to read me answer A and B and I'm going to tell you what an evil diabolical person you are. What's answer A? Uh Japanese goose barnacles. Okay, what is B? C cucumber. So you're telling me that you made answer B is C cucumber. That's yes. What I think it is. What is Okay, now what's what's C? C is horse meat. Kamenote is Japanese goose barnacles, sea cucumber. You said or it was a delicacy. It is. It's sea horse meat. No, it's, it's cucumber. No, it's Japanese goose barnacles. Wow. Kamenote. Wow, we're both wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, All right, so, uh, we both have to eat something. Uh, so go, go ahead and pick something. One of you guys pick something out of the bag. Go for it, MZ. Go for it, MZ. We both got that one right. I'm shocked. I really thought it was um, uh. horse meat. I hate to say it. Okay, another bag taro of something. Chips. It's taro chips. Taro, taro chips. chips. Okay. And it says it on there? You can read it? Well, taro. I see that part. Wow, they look like big, round... Man, MZ, uh, you're ballsy, man. You just <laughs> throw those things right in. It. Damn. Me and Dave are, like, sniffing it. We're, like, <laughs> inspecting it to make sure there's no poison on it. I'm going to put something bad in, a, in such a... In no, such they a would nicely, not. Nicely, uh, they, you know, it's such a right. cute package. Yeah, the little corn guys. There. Hmm. Yeah, they're, like, big, cl uh, fluffy... Ew. Do you think the it audience? It tastes like a chip, but I don't know. Us chewing in, in no, they ear. don't like us chewing at all. But for the bit, we have to do it. Uh, yeah. And it could, they, they could taste see like us online. they taste like puffy um, corn things. Yeah, corn chips. They're not that bad. No, they're, they're, again, they're I not mean, good. Not they, my, they have an understated flavor. They're okay. not my. Uh, you know, I, I not something I'd, I'd go for normally. Okay. Okay. Japan's question, most Dave. populous city is A. Tokyo, B. Yokohama, or C. Osaka. Japan's most populous city, uh -huh. Tokyo, Yokohama, or Osaka? Everybody knows it's Tokyo. Uh, no, no, hold on a second. I think it is, what we'll see again, Dave? Tokyo, Yokohama, or Osaka? Osaka. It's Tokyo. Dang it! It's I was Tokyo. in Kyoto when... Really? I should have with MZ on that one. When one of the guys on our tour said he didn't have any teeth. Mm -hmm. He said, AMZ, a singer died. And I said, Who? Elvis Presley. The, you know, because we just celebrated his, right, what do you think? Oh, anniversary passing of, his, yeah. of his passing? Well, you know, speaking of uh, celebrities. Yesterday, yesterday was the anniversary of his passing. He, he uh, yeah. passed around to uh, reading a um, And the book thing about is, Jesus. you know, uh, we have one more question, Dave, or should we move on? Because it wraps up perfectly one more question. into my one more question. Uh, topic. But let's, uh, one, more question. one more question. One more question. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Move on he to hasn't him. been dead as long as he was alive. He died at 42. Oh. But next year, he will past that milestone hmm. if see. he's dead now some people say yes. he's not dead yeah. that is correct some people do and i want to talk about that mz because uh celebrities you know many people out there think that like some like elvis have faked his death and then people believe that andy kaufman faked his oh. death and some people uh believe tupac you know tupac the rapper mz that's right, and, and, and Biggie, too. Some people say Biggie, Biggie. might have faked And then, of course, ultimately, there's Michael Jackson, and then my personal favorite, uh, George Burns. Wait a minute. Somebody thinks George Burns faked his death? Yeah. You're just making that up. He was 100. That was like yeah. seven yeah, years Yeah, I think ago. he faked his death. 
Dave? No, he didn't fake his death, <laughs> Billy. He's really dead. He's dead as I'm Julius putting, Caesar. That was a joke, Dave. Putting you on. I'm kidding. <laughs> Reach into that George, bag. no one thinks I'm, George. I'm, I'm, out, of, I'm out of George questions. Reach that. into that bag. But some people do. Oh, you're out of questions. Oh, what is that? Oh. That looks like green tea something. Those are rice candies. Oh. Well, those might out. be real good, actually. I think there's... How many How many are in there left, MZ? How many treats are in there? Is there only one? They used to make... Um, like a okay, he Dang. now he's, Dave is opening the pack here. Everyone needs to go to Flight 1080 oh. on YouTube to I check Dave out on the live these. stream oh. as he's opening these Japanese type candies. And these are these are in rice paper, so you should they just be able to papers. stick them in there and eat it. Right? Oh, it's got rice paper where you can eat the rice paper. Cool. I Man, bet those I just got good. like a seaweed aftertaste. Oh no, is it seaweedy? Is it good? No. Hmm, that looks good. Here you go, MZ. One for you. Do you eat everything? I think yeah. you're supposed to. Yeah, it's got the rice paper. Uh, yeah. uh, Dave's not a fan of that one. Well, I didn't have to answer any questions or no questions, so I'm not going to try that. Because I, I don't want it to hit Oh, wait. Dave's going for it now. What are no, you going to no, do no, now? You guys. Oh, boy. Dave's uh, he's going for something now. What do you got down in your bag? You guys have been cigarettes? picking the wrong bags the whole time here. Now, this is one you've been wanting me to eat, isn't yes, it, Dave? Yes, yes. And no one's been picking and this no one. And no one picked it. All so right. So now, I finally. I'm going to try it out. I will pick it kindness for the one time we played Billy's Tasty and Tainted Trivia and you did eat the buttered there. popcorn bean and almost vomited. Right. So in revenge, I'm going to eat this. What is this, Dave? This is, uh, these are like chips. Oh. Ew. Oh. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm not going to eat that. They're little what do you fishies. Mean? Why, it's day Dr fish. <laughs> They're little giant fishies, Dave. I, and I pulled well, out a they handful. They have almond slices in them, though. Oh, uh, What? I am not going to eat that. I think they're gobies. I think no, they're Tidewater gobies. Are those the gob? Yeah, we the goby fish out in the lagoon, MZ. <laughs> they're dried. That's a sore subject with me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Can you th can we, can um, we try some of those? You're going to try it? Are yeah, you I'll try it. I'm flushing them all out. I'm not trying it. I'm not eating some dried fish. My Dang, friend, uh, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> oh, I thought you said you didn't care about it. No, because you didn't ask me a question. I didn't get one. <laughs> hey, you have one more question? <laughs> ask me one more question, and then I, I'll, I'll, yes. I'll eat it. What is the Japanese word for a wig? You're not giving me options? Yes. Is You're expecting to know Japanese it, now. Is it A, wig, B, wag, or C, wag? I don't know. Either. It's a All trick right. question. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. You want me to, I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat the head of this thing. Ew. Ew. That's yeah, it's, it's nasty. It's just totally gross. It's totally gross, everybody. It's uh, <laughs> these little dried uh, fishy things, and I don't even know what they are. Yeah, that was gross. MZ, you want these? Uh, I'm going to throw these away. You don't want those, MZ. Nah, I don't want them. Yeah, it's nasty. It's disgusting. Good. Anyways, you can go to Flight 1080 uh, <laughs> YouTube channel. and. Uh, okay, so the people who fake their deaths. Yeah. Tupac. Oh, yes. Andy Kaufman. Well, people think this. They they believe that that you know out there that Kaufman faked his Paul death. McCartney, possibly, that right? Some people believe Paul, Paul McCartney. I never heard that one. Paul McCartney. What do you mean? You've heard that before, right, MC? Well, he it, there was a big thing in 1968 that Paul was dead, and you could play some oh, rings right. backward and everything. They believe he died in a car accident or yeah, something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. I do remember hearing that about, about that. I, mean, I didn't yeah. realize it was still that popular of a theory like people. But in it terms of Elvis back. and Tupac, people really believe that they're still alive. No, that's not going to be a, around in 40 years or however Tupac? Uh, well, that rumor. Well, I don't know. You don't think? I mean, Tupac's considered a legendary rapper. He could. Listen, Tupac you can never compare to a Paul McCartney or anything like that. I don't well, think. no, I, I don't think you you could. But if we look at like uh, Elvis Presley or like people even now, Michael Jackson's a prime example. Michael Jackson, for all <laughs> intents and purposes, we know how he passed away, much <laughs> like Elvis. But yet his celebrity is so huge that that people really do think that Michael uh, faked his death. You know, and I think Michael Jackson. You know what? You're right. I, I I remember seeing film of of um, him supposedly running out of the helicopter right when when uh, they landed oh, no, it in I the. Really? And the sheriffs are in the coroner's uh, gate, and they, they show them jump up and run out into the No, the I never saw that. But it is interesting. Like, I was looking on uh, YouTube recently, and a lot of wild theories, of course, on the Internet. And there was a man years ago, um, I guess Michael Jackson was friends with him. He was burned. He got very burned. And he did talk shows for a while. But people claim that this man that was burned is uh, with Michael Jackson, like with a mask. And it's odd. There's, a, there's actually some compelling evidence of it. That this, what? yeah, this that this man is uh, Michael Jackson. I don't know. It's it's interesting. Hmm. 
I don't know if I believe that. MZ, what do you think? How's the voice? Um, you know what? He has a very effeminate, effeminate voice. So uh, it could be Michael. You haven't heard, seen that day before? No, that dude. fellow who, he was friends with Michael Jackson for years. And Oprah talked about him uh, one time. He, he was a burn victim that survived. And he may have been even a guest on, like, Oprah in the 80s at one point. But he became good friends with him. But at one point in time, uh, people were theorizing that he was going out dressed, to go, dressed up as the guy with a mask and this, that, and the other thing. And, um, and I believe this fellow actually was at his funeral also. 479-1082-185726. How do you ride the roller coaster with your back? I have an L5-S1 herniation, and Giant Dipper was barely uh, not painful. Got any tips? I don't ride roller coasters too much anymore. I've never ridden it. You've never ridden the ro Giant Dipper? What? No, really? I refuse. Why? What? Why? Yeah, why is that? It's it's just sort of like a Guinness Book of World Records thing for me now at uh, this point. I was born and raised in Santa Cruz. Oh, I see. <clears throat> I used to be afraid of it. Mm -hmm. Probably, nah, not so much now, but looking back, um, who wants to break a record? I'd like to say I've lived in Santa Cruz 70 years. Yeah, you know, yeah, three, I understand. Three, three and a half years from now and say, and I've never been on the on the Giant Dipper. I went on the Wild Mouse, which I, pe people say is way worse than the Giant Dipper. Yeah, I used right? to rip you around, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, and, I, and I've been on at the Matterhorn at uh, mm -hmm. That's a fun Disneyland and, and so forth. I don't know. It's just something I just, I haven't done. Yeah. Someone, yeah. someone wanted to make a contest, you know, for enough money uh, pledged to a charity. I'll, I'll do the Giant Dipper or something like that. I mean, and you'll ride ago. it like all day long, right? No. I, well, I, I would. don't know. It sort of depends on the money. That would be cool. <laughs> Not to me. <laughs> I, don't, I, I want it to be to a good... Uh, to a good uh, Charity. Know, charity. I yeah. know what you're saying, MZ, about the whole thing where you just get into that and now you're not going to do it. Because, like, uh, the Star Wars movies, all those Star Wars movies, you know, everybody talks about. I've seen clips and parts. I've even seen whole movies. But I'll tell you, to this day, I have no idea what any of them are about. I have no idea even what Star Wars is about. Even the first three? I don't get it. I don't know. Wait I don't minute, understand. Wait a I, 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 in 77. You were... Oh, I wasn't even born yet. Yeah. I was born in 78, so... But, you know, ah. it's such a huge thing nowadays, Star Wars, You were and I don't minus even... a year old when Correct. the first Star wow, Wars Billy. came out. Pretty yeah, lame, yeah. dude. And oh. Dave, uh, Dave, <laughs> Dave was only uh, a two, a five. Yeah, yeah, I was just yeah. a little, little tiny rug rat. Little Jeez. tiny guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's an iconic film, and they've made so many, and it's got such a universe to it, and yet and I have no idea what they're about. And George, I I George Lucas, who's the most successful director on planet Earth of all time, mm -hmm. is just an ordinary guy who you see, you know, on the street in San Anselmo these days. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You just... Wow. I've never, I've never seen... I, I don't spend much time up there, but if I did, I'm sure I'd run, run into him. What I'm you sure you would, yeah. What kind of technology do you see in San Francisco, MZ? Do you get see those little robots run around the, the sidewalks delivering packages? Do you see any of that? No, Self-driving cars... Uh, uh, do you see any of that stuff? I, if I'm seeing it and not realizing it, that's possible. Mm -hmm. But I do see an awful lot of of um, skateboards that are that are motorized. Really, an awful skateboards, lot of not scooters. Sc scooters and skateboards. Yeah, Some, a, a lot of skateboards that that, are, that that go uphill, that go up steep hills. It's amazing. Huh? Wow. Cool. I bought a uh, electric bike. That that uh, that will go up allows even me to ride up a steep hill. Yeah, you need it out of San Francisco because it's so uh, hilly, yeah. dippy, uppy, down. Wow. Uh, four seven nine ten eight. Let's see what Kenny has to say. You're in the air, Kenny. Hey, Ken. Hey guys, how you guys all doing? Good. Hey, you guys want to look into a conspiracy about a, a celebrity death? Look into the Carol Channing one, where uh, supposedly years ago Carol Channing was uh, actually mauled by a pack of dogs. What? And she she died? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, this is absolutely... Look into this. Waste your time. And then... Uh, <laughs> I she she's not even dead. A, she, she was... Well, that's the thing, MZ. She was replaced with an exact Carol Channing replica, which wasn't quite easy to find. Uh, they had to wait at a bus stop for a very long time to find a woman that sounded like Carol Channing. Uh, let, hey, you know what? I wanted to tell you guys... Um, how you guys doing, first of all? The show's great today. And I found out what those frog chips were, Billy. Oh, you did? Really? Yeah, I Googled. I just swear to God I got on Google, you guys. And oh, I Googled you found Japanese, it, huh? Japanese, Japanese, Japanese frog chips. Yeah, they're sitting <laughs> here in front of me taunting me. They are cabbage-flavored corn puffs. 
cabbage so you flavored. Didn't, sounds right. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Right. Well, that would be like frog bait then, right? So, cabbage. I don't know. If you want to wow. catch a frog. But, Interesting. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I just thought I'd let you guys know. And, uh, yeah, how you, it's great to hear you guys. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And I'll talk to you and guys. We ho- I mean, I uh, hope you do as well. I can't speak for Dave and Billy. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Kenny, why thanks not? Thanks for the call. Yeah, Thank you for the call, weekend. Kenny. Appreciate it. Sure, why not? You cabbage flavored cabbage flavored corn puffs. Well, now actually, my 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 mouth feels not as uh, horrific as it did because I was really thinking it was like flavored with frog, but now I know that I eat like a cabbage thing. It's not as bad. Haven't you eaten frog legs or just like chicken? I've never eaten frog's legs. Who me? likes gum? I heard they taste like chicken. Yeah. Anybody like gum? Um, I'm okay at the moment. Thank you uh, for. Asking. You like gum? You mean? Are you gonna chew gum while you continue to host Flight 10A? Is that Japanese gum now, Dan? Yes. Now this no. I have I have happened to try before. Okay, all right. I, will, I, have, uh, I have tried these before with the kids. Okay. Are you supposed to eat these wrappers, too? No, no, you can take that <laughs> off. These are uh, cola-flavored gum from Japan. These are cola now. They're are hard sh- candy. Oh, are they candy? Oh, I'm are sorry, you sure they're, Are you sure these are cola? No, they are candy. But they're very tart. I like that. Wow. Yeah, actually, It does are, taste exactly good. like cola. Wow. These are not the same ones I had when, when I had the kids. Those ones were gnarly. Yeah. These aren't bad. I'm not big mm-hmm. into sweets, but these aren't that bad. Do you take the kids to... Ch- to oh, no, you didn't. Um, take Japanese. more. To uh, the store? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Uh, my, my daughter likes to buy the little pop and cooking sets. And what these are is they're, they're little tiny sets that kids can... Um, they can use it to make donuts or, uh, or waffles or whatever. Is that kind of like an easy bake oven they used to make, Dave? Yeah, but they're all gummy candies. So you gummy ma- you mix these things up, they solidify, and then you have your sushi or whatever, candy canes. And yeah, it's it's a really cool. The kids are into it now. The little girls are into it. Really, it's called poppin' cooking. Poppin' cooking, cool. Ever heard yeah, of it? Yeah, they, they sell them. Uh, yeah, if, if you have a little day. granddaughter or are you looking for something fun for your daughter to do, and they're ten years old, something like that, get them poppin' cooking. They will love that. Great fun. Four seven nine one zero eight zero two one eight five seven two six. All right, let's round out the uh, the Japanese. Do you have anything else you want to bring up, Billy? Well, no, 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 I don't, Dave. Except for uh, just to let people know to head over to the YouTube, hit up the Flight Ten Eighty channel, hit the like and subscribe button, and when you do that, you'll get notifications when they go. Dave goes live on Flight Ten Eighty, and of course, we've been wrapping it up, uh, talking about wrapping up the summertime and. Uh, a little bit about Japanese culture. And I just, I got to say, if you get a chance, also go to YouTube, uh, a channel called Ramblick, R-A-M-B-L-A-C. And a fellow that just goes around in Japan is shooting 4K video, um, walking around, uh, about hour-long video sometimes. And it's just very interesting to see that culture. And it's beautiful to hear the sounds. And there's, he doesn't talk to anyone. It's just purely like taking a walk. You know, it. in Japan right now, there is a bunch of talk about whether or not they should strengthen their military oh yeah and this is being this conversation has been sparked by a cartoon called aircraft carrier ibuki and in this cartoon they are invaded by china china Mm -hmm. invades so so here it goes on a stormy night three mysterious figures clamor onto an uninhabited island in the east china sea tensions spiral upward from there until china invades several japanese islands triggering tokyo's first use of military force since world war ii now, this, uh, this has become such a big obsession in Japan that they are actually um, next making a movie and they're going to mandate that some weapons be updated to defend against this possible scenario. So now p- some people, the opponents are saying, hey, we can't do that. We can't strengthen our military because we signed uh, this agreement at the end of World War II that we are not allowed to, to strengthen our military. I see. And I think that at some point that becomes ridiculous, right? To hold them to that standard becomes ridiculous. Well, it sounds like it already is becoming ridiculous. The fact that they have to address it in uh, an article in the media to point it out. You know, so much. And that, isn't that really the problem with a lot of government? So much it's the red tape and then uh, times change and that doesn't. Right. And it becomes impossible. I mean, are, to are, are, is anybody things. really worried that Japan is not our, our ally anymore? Does, is that oh, even I'm not a worried concern? about it at all. I mean, I, I think we consider Japan to be our friend. As I'm saying, Dave, these videos, if you look at Japan, a lot of different areas, I mean, there's a ton of signs in English and they're very friendly to Americans. I mean, they're, as far as I can tell, uh, our uh, allies. Yeah, I know. I yeah, know. I find it interesting though. It is uh, what do you think, MZ? Should they be allowed to to strengthen their military? A, a, 
allowed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes. should they be allowed to, to strengthen the military? Everyone should be allowed to strengthen his or her military. Japan's military was uh, disbanded after the war, being reformed as the self-defense forces. So that's what they have. They have an ability to defend themselves, but no ability to attack. I see. Oh, yeah, so we got a caller uh, here to Flight 1080, Dave Michaels, and I am Billy Army. And if you get a chance, please go to YouTube, check out the Flight 1080 channel, hit that like button and subscribe button to get notifications. Right. Uh, are we still streaming? We are still streaming, Dave. Ah, uh, there we, we are. We're still streaming. There we are. And hopefully we had a... Uh, our, I think this has been our first successful live stream with the audio correct and yeah. uh, the uh, digital matching up because we're wi fiing the uh, connection at this point. Probably hardwired at another point and we'll get an even cleaner signal and better content in the future, Dave, isn't it? Right? All right, so uh, let's get out of here. We only have about three or four All more right, minutes. MC, thank let's you for joining us. No more, uh, oh, AMZ. it was an honor and a privilege. You should tell us who you're going to have on tomorrow, uh, Saturday special again. Tane Chan. From? The Walk Shop. The Walk Shop. Cool. Yeah, but she's much more than an entrepreneur. She's a, she's a wild, fun, uh, very charismatic woman. All right, excellent. Yeah, so cool, cool, cool. I look forward to listening to that, MZ. And if we if if we run out of um, charisma, the callers uh, yeah, can provide no, charisma. Well, well, yeah, but we'll invite ethnic jokes. Oh, <laughs> right. we'll, we'll up the class. A little we'll spicy keep, we'll keep humor classy. on the Saturday special. Yeah. All right. We haven't had any good joke specials in years. No, you're right about that. A good uh, joke special time. would be fantastic. It would be fantastic. You know, they say that um, uh, things times are so politically correct now, a program, a series such such as All in the Family could never work now. And uh, Blazing Saddles, a great movie in 1975, could never work now. I disagree. I, I think disagree. it, could work, it could work better than ever. I agree what? with you, MZ. No I, No, no, I agree no with MZ. Way. I agree with MZ. I totally agree with MZ. Nope. A major studio like ABC or one of the television companies will never touch it. They made... Now, look, the Roseanne reboot, huge success by every uh, measure, and we don't know what happened. But the reality is if you were to do, like, an All in the Family, the major uh, networks are not going to want to touch it because they'll be too freaked out. But right. Netflix or somebody like that with that type of show, I think it'll work. I think it'll work, MZ, again. I, I think that the country can handle it. Yes, some people will see the show and not get it and go hog wild, and, uh, but that's just, you know, where we're at in America. I mean, back when All in the Family was on, that show was so great because it sh was showing a lot of sides of America, not just one side, within a family. And that was so fantastic. And that's what this new Roseanne reboot was trying to do. And, uh, yeah, I think it's going to come back, that type of... We need, we need more of that. We need to get to uh, deeper discussions in society by using humor. Yeah. That's what I think. I like it. All right, Billy, thank you. Uh, thank you for joining us today, MZ. Thank you. Be sure to check out the Saturday special tomorrow from 10 to 12. I will be out there at the Dave Cave from 10 to 2. KSEO Santa Cruz, the Mike Young Real Estate Hour is up next. Keep it tuned in. Is we still got a minute left. Well, the thing so, is, so, you didn't let me so, finish up what I was saying. So, okay. uh, Did Dave? the callers hang up? Yeah, they. Oh no, hey, we got one guy. We got one person. Got left. One Who online? is it? Wake up. Oh hi. Um, C. It's you. you would like to ever have John Barber on Saturday special as a guest? Absolutely. Who's John Barber? John Barber. He's been in TV. He wrote. Oh, he's been. He's been. He started um, the game show and. He's an old um, TV guy. I put his recent interview he did.